Single shoot photo of an insect with many names walking on the water of the swimming pool. It is from the Geridae family of the Hemiptera order. So let's call it Geri. They are harmless to humans, they actually eat mosquitoes larvae. Scientists are studying their legs that repel water. Salut, I'm Peach, back in my favorite field in Puerto Princesa. I woke up very early, so I decided to make a little short uh, video about macro photography this time. And here I am in my favorite field. Uh, it's been at least five, four or five months since the last time I came here. So now the, the plant and all the trees around me are twice bigger than before. So it's a totally different place for me here. There is a lot of bird around and uh, I just saw a flock of 20 egrets and uh, some birds flying uh, around, smaller birds. And uh, just here there is a scorpion uh, spider. Not the best images that you will see in my video. This is the kind of animal that is hard to photograph, very spiny with a lot of white spots on it. However, I'm sharing it with you so you can see what is a scorpion spider with its little tail. Other spiders a lot more easy to shoot seen this morning. We have a little white crab spider hanging on a string, always living close to flowers with matching colors. A brown crab spider living around brown things, very small as well. A spiny spider, a bit harder to get a decent portrait because of its shape as well. This one was a handheld focus stack of five images. A little jumping spider. And a super small mimic spider with greenish eyes. There is a few bee here. They like those pink flowers. Maybe you can see. I think those pink flowers are called shame flower because the leaves are retracting if you touch them. So I will try to get some uh, bee in flight. You have to be very lucky to get a good photo of a bee in flight in manual mode. You probably need about 200 to 500 shoots to get a good one. And I am very lucky because I got an image that I like very quickly. The focus is almost perfect and the background is cool. I think this is my favorite bee in flight ever. So quickly, one minute about my new setup and what I bring with me when I go shoot macro. I shoot macro now with my new Fujifilm X-T5 and I am already used to it and I like it very much so far. Attached to it, I have my second Laowa 65mm Ultra Macro, excellent manual lens. I have a review on it, link in the description below. The flash is a Mikey MK320, small, simple, no complaint so far. I did the flash diffuser myself with a water bottle, light and sturdy. Here we have one spare battery for my Fujifilm X-T5, one battery for my Canon R7 and two AAA battery for my recorder H1N that I forgot to bring with me. Here is the cleaning kit with the liquid for the glass of my lenses. A big macro fiber close multipurpose, the Canon R7 with the RF100-500 in case of emergency only. If I am lucky enough to see a green parrot, a king cobra or any unusual creature. The spare batteries for my Osmo Action 4, red is dead, green is good. A 
spare external light from small rig, one blower, very important, two spare rechargeable batteries, double A for my flash and a macrofiber cloth for my lenses. The bag is from Tario, very affordable, weight only one kilo and 100 gram and it has a side pocket to take out my R7 in a pretty fast manner. It's already warm here, very warm, I'm sweating. There is a little wasp on the edge of that leaf. Maybe you can see that. No more. No more leaf hopper. I think I just got a... Uh, hopefully I got a good image of a very cute leaf hopper. I think that's the torn leaf hopper. I will uh, put the name on the, on the screen. And I try to stay in the shade because right now it's uh, start already to be very warm. It's... Uh, I think close to 8 EM now so we are in the good season supposed to be a little bit cooler but it's still uh, when the sun shine it's always very warm in the Philippines looks like a nice plant I will investigate that plant So right now I'm uh, really lost in, a, in the middle of that jungle. I mean, I know the north is over there and the ocean is over there, but that's all I know. All the pathway that I was going through five months ago have been erased. I guess this was a pathway before, but I am not sure anymore. Okay, I think I made it. Look, I think I can go straight, find some uh, good pathway and I will head uh, home because it's very hot now. I've been stung by many mosquitoes and yeah, it's ooh, very warm now.
Oh, a butterfly. Oh. Little butterfly. Oh, so cute. Don't move. Yeah. Right. Never chase a butterfly. <laughs>